What's up guys, James here and today we're going to be making my new team on FIFA 21. So as you can see here, I'm going to be going to the transfer market and listing up Neymar who is going to enable us to afford my whole team. So the reason for this is because Neymar has been a really good player for me and stuff but I feel like to upgrade my team further I need to upgrade other areas of my team. So. I'm going to be using the coins which we can get to him to obviously buy my new team. So obviously because of the team of the year coming like like tomorrow, there's going to obviously a lot of players like Neymar, Mbappe, Ronaldo, players like that are going to be going down in price quite a lot because of panic selling. So obviously I may as well sell him now before he goes down even more. And he's at the moment he's obviously gone up in price a little bit due to the Kurzawa in the store, which will get a strong link to Neymar. So as you can see here, I think we're gonna be listening for around 520k. So he's listed up. So as we wait for him to sell, we'll go back into my team and we'll check things out. So as we're here, um obviously there's a lot of empty spaces which will be filled and we got Mbappe, untradeable, out of the Icon Swaps 85 times 25 pack, which was insane. And obviously Varane's going to be in my new team instead of Stones, I'll probably put him into an SBC, which will obviously make my team better in the future. But overall, a lot of my team players are going to be staying. There's just a few odd players which I need to improve on, which will be good. So... Uh, a towel has been a good stand-in for the player who we're going to be getting, so stay tuned for that. Um, at obviously, a towel I did him for like 20k, so he was really good um, as like a stand-in super sub. Obviously, you can see there, Traore is on the bench. He's really good, but he just does not fit my team. So he's a really good super sub. Honestly, he's he's so good. You can play him at centre back, you can play him at left back, you can play him at right back, you can play him pretty much anywhere along the back line if you want so as you can see here Neymar is sold so we've got just under 500k to spend on the new team so the first player we're going to purchase is going to be Kante so Kante used to be in my team but obviously then I sold him to be able to afford someone else I think I, I think I with the money I sold him for I did an SBC I think it may have been Jal Felix because obviously that was like 400k to do so I needed to afford one of like the 86 rated squads. So as you can see here, because of the team of the year, market crash, Kante's gone down quite a bit. So we may as well pick him up now. So as you can see here, we get a decent price on Kante, um, which is, I think, less. I pay, I'm paying less than I did when I had him previously. So a nice little bit of profit there. And... We're just trying to get the lowest Kante on the market. As you can see here, we messed up on the bid, but we can buy him back. So that's Kante secured. And the next player we're going to be buying is Jao Cancelo, who is going to be our new right back, fill in for a towel. Obviously, Cancelo is a really good smart option to make profit because he's going to be going up in price if Man City win the game against Munch and Gladbach, I think it is, in the Champions League round of 16 which is most likely they're gonna win so he'll be getting a plus one upgrade so he'll be going up in price if i ever do want to sell him i'll be making coins for definite if man city win so again cancelo i haven't tried him before but apparently he's a really good player and i used to have kyle walker so i'm guessing he's just a level up from kyle walker because to get that um like the links in with the team obviously linked to Kante. And then if we want to change formation, you can link with Mares, obviously strong link. And so we get Jao Cancelo, he's in the team. And after that, we now go to get Carrasco from Atletico Madrid, his 86 rated in form, which is, he's apparently a really good card again. I think he's around 130K, I believe. So we pick up Carrasco from the market at a decent price. He'll be my new left winger filling for Neymar. Obviously, it's a, di it's a downgrade from Neymar, but it overall, my team's gotten better than it used to be with selling Neymar. So it's all good. And Carrasco, he's a really good player. You know, his eight, obviously, we're going to be getting his 86, not his 84. So we're just trying to find the right price to get him for. So 
obviously Carrasco, he's there's there's not many of him on the market at the moment, I don't think. So uh, we try and get his 86, try and find it for a little bit cheaper, but obviously it's, cause it's annoying because he's got an 84, so we've got to try and find his 86 in there. So we kind of give in here and just buy him for a normal price. So we pick up the one which we saw earlier for 130k, just about. So that's our left winger completed. So we'll I'll be adding him to the team. So obviously I'm going to be keeping Nick Pope in goal. So um, I don't. So I can spend the rest of the money I have on. I think I'm going to be using them to do some 80 plus player picks. So obviously ready for team of the year. So that is now the whole squad built, I believe, apart from one player, which you'll be seeing at the end of the video. So obviously we've put in our Jal Cancelo, which we just put in. So obviously now we're going to be putting in our Carrasco and then there's a left back which we're going to be putting in soon so we're just going to be doing um putting obviously position modifiers modifiers on the players and trying to get their chem styles and and all that stuff so back obviously it's annoying when you have to buy position changes because they cost way too much to be honest but obviously i have the i have the 62k to spend on so i don't mind buying like buying them for a little bit more money if, if that means we can just get one as you can see here, we're just trying to buy one. So we get uh, Jal Felix's position change. Obviously, it'll be a striker. So obviously, this will take be taking a bit of time because like loads of people are trying to get position modifiers for cheap. So you kind of just got to buy them for the for the price which they're at and try not to snipe them because obviously loads of people are trying to snipe them. So. Mbappe in game I'm gonna be playing Mbappe at striker. He's a really he's a really good player to be honest. Overall I'd say Neymar was better than Mbappe, but then again, you know, Mbappe is an amazing striker. He's got all the aspects you need for a striker to be honest. He's composed, you know, he's good height for headers, he scores a decent amount of headers for me to be honest. And uh Mahrez, obviously I think by now, by the time this video goes up, he'll be having an 88 rated card because of the heck, because of Man City winning four games in a row. Obviously, they've just beaten Aston Villa 2 0, I believe. So that's good for Myers. He'll be upgrading him. Obviously, because I play him on 8 cam, he'll feel if his normal card, if his um, normal headliners was on 4 cam type of thing. So if he gets one more upgrade, that's when I'll probably be starting to see. The difference and how he plays and we'll be seeing an improvement so as you can see here we're still trying to get position modifiers which are absolute aids to get so this takes a little bit of time here so another player in my in my team which i'm excited to be using is wan Bissaka. obviously i've had him since he came out in the in the freeze like period which Honestly, wan he's probably the best SBC I think I've done so far. He's honestly a great player. And even though he was around 300k, I believe, after the fodder, was, the fodder, eighth high fodder had settled, I believe he was around 300k. So I got him for, I got him for free because I had loads of fodder from the 83 times 25, which I did during Icon Swap. So I had... I had that, which was really good. And wan honestly, he's everything you need in a defender. He's he's quite composed at the back. He's obviously fast. He's he's a good height, and he can turn quickly, which obviously Varane is a little bit slower at turn around, which is what you need, really. Right, guys, now we're going to be completing the Laven Kazar SBC, who's going to be my new left back instead of Adama Traore. As you can probably guess, I was going to have Ferland Mendy there until, obviously, I saw this card come out. So I had to go for it. He fits right in my team. Why not? I did him for absolutely nothing. So it was a win for me. So I've now got around 40k to spend on league SBCs ready for team of the year. I've got around 20 packs stocked, I think, for team of the year. Hoping I can pack one. But obviously, that's the main goal. Obviously, if we can get some other good players, that would be good as well to increase the fodder rate in our club. And now we're going to be putting him in my team and look at my final team now for the near future unless there's any improvements which I can do 
so ideally getting Kante's in form and stuff. So guys, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video where I'll be probably playing some division rivals with my new team.